Welcome to Linux in the Shell, Episode 2, TR Command. My name is Dan Washko. I'll be your host today. I'm going to talk about the TR Command, which stands for Translate or Transliterate. Now, if you have not listened to the audio file or read the write-up on the website, I strongly encourage you to do so before watching this video, because this only shows some examples. So without further ado, let's get into the TR Command. The TR Command takes input from standard in and writes it to standard out and it works on two sets all right so set one is what you want to replace and set two is what you want to replace with for instance t let's do an echo one two three four five i'm going to echo out the numbers one two three four five that's what it looks like so i'm going to do echo one two three four five tr i'm going to replace one two three four five with a b c d e when I do that, instead of getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I get A, B, C, D, E. Each character in set 1 is replaced by the character in set 2 correspondingly. 1 is A, 2 replaced by B, 3 replaced by C, 4 replaced by D, and 5 replaced by E. Now, as opposed to specifying each individual character, I could have very simply done this. Echo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, TR, 1, to 5 and specify a range and then A to E and specify that range and when I hit enter it does the same thing so you can specify ranges logical ranges of course with the dash now let's say you wanted to replace the dash in, uh, from standard in that's a little trickier so if you if I did this echo I am Fred 22 and said TR and let's say I wanted to replace the dash and the number 2 with underscore and the number 3. When I hit enter, it's going to throw an error because it's treating the dash like a flag or an option. It's not what we want to do. Now, another example of this is let's say I wanted to replace the M with an R and replace the dash with an underscore and the 2 with 3. If I hit enter in this case, it's going to treat the dash like it was a range, so you're not going to get the expected results. So what you need to do is you need to specify the dash last, just like that, R3 underscore, and it will work. IRFRED333. Now, looking at the set 1 and set 2, it's important to note that the length of set 1 and the length of set 2 is important. They, they need to, to match. Otherwise, it's going to throw some errors in most cases. So, for instance, let's clear the screen. Let's do an echo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again. And let's go back to our range of 1 to 5. Now, if I just specified ABC, in this case right here, the result that you're going to get is dependent upon the version of TR that's running. Now, there's the BSD version of TR, which the GNU version, most of you who are running this on Linux will be using, expands the last character to the length of the set 1. So in this case, what happens when I hit enter, all the characters that are not specified in 1 to 5, which would be the 4 and the 5, would be matched to the last character, so it would expand out the last character. Now, if I was using a System 5 uh, version of TR, it would truncate the set. So it would cut off set 1 to match the length of set 2. And we can emulate that by passing the T or the truncate flag with TR. And when I hit enter, now instead of substituting the 4 and 5 with the C, it just truncates set 1 to be 1 to 3 as opposed to 1 to 5 because there's no corresponding matching character. Now, let's say that we wanted to do something similar with this, echo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but we didn't want to truncate the last, or we didn't want to expand the last character, we wanted to expand a different character. So we do 1 to 5, and the way we can do that is by putting the character in brackets with an asterisk, BC. So now we have kind of the reverse of the character replacement, where we have the A is repeated, the first three for the first three characters and then four and five are replaced with B and C because it, it expands out of course the length and instead of using the last character here we're using the first character to expand the length of set one we could have done the same thing with the B character 
and it would replace characters 2 through 5 with B and, you know, leave A and C the same. Now, we could have done this, which is kind of redundant because it's a typical behavior. If I would have done that, and you get the same behavior as before. So, that's the way you can expand your set 2 to make sure it matches set 1 in any scripts or whatever you're going to use TR for. Now, the option that you have for set 1 and 2, I've shown you characters and ranges. There's another option that you can do, and that is classes. Classes define a specific category of characters. Like, the class digit specifies numbers, the range, number range of 0 through 9. And the class alpha specifies the alphabet A through Z in the English alphabet. And if you did alpha, alnum, which stands for all alphabet characters A to Z and numbers 0 to 9. Now there's also lower and upper case and if you do man TR you can fly down here and it starts telling you what the character classes are. Character classes are right here defined by open bracket colon the character class name colon close bracket. So for instance if I did echo how are you today and pass that through to TR and specify the character, place all lowercase characters with all uppercase characters. Now we that's one way of using character classes. Alright, so if you have any questions about character classes, consult the man page or the info page and it will help you out uh, with those. Now there are some flags that the TR command can take. Now I already showed you the dash T or truncate command, but there's a dash D flag which stands for delete, and that does kind of the opposite of what TR would do, is instead of translating a character from one to another, it's going to delete characters. So if I did echo one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E, and pass that through to TR dash D and put the character class digit in there it's going to remove all digits A, B, C, D, E. Now I can do the same thing with alpha and it, it gets rid of all the alphabet characters. There's another option called squeeze or dash S and what that will do is it will take set one and it will squeeze out any duplicates of that character. So for instance, if I did echo 555444333222221 and said TR S and I did 1 to 5, it's now going to squeeze out any duplicates of those characters. So I just get 54321. So another example is if I did echo 54321 contact Pass that to TR, squeeze, 5, 4. Well, don't put it in brackets. That was stupid. 5 and 4. I now get... Whoa! Oh, I didn't want to squeeze that. I wanted to delete that. There's 3, 2, 1 contact. I screwed up my notes there, but you'll forgive me for showing you another example. But let's get back to squeeze a second here. So if I did echo 5, 5, 5, 4, 4, 4, 4 3, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, 1, 5, 2, 3, 1, like that, TR, squeeze, 1 to 5. Note that it only replaces characters that are repeated side by side. It doesn't take out a second instance of that character in the string. So make sure you're aware of how squeeze actually works. Now another thing that we can do with squeeze is if we did echo 555-444-333-222-111 and I did this, translate squeeze, 54 and then ABC to one. The way to squeeze operates in this case is it works on the second set. Now normally you would only pass, you know, in, in squeeze by itself only one set of the characters you want to squeeze out. But in this case what it's going to do is it's going to operate on a second case of character set of characters because it's actually going to do the translation of the five and the four to the A and B first. So when I hit enter in this case it's going to change all the fives and all the fours to A and B, and then it's going to get rid of the duplicated or replicated characters A, B, C, 
2 and 1. Notice that it did not get rid of the 3s, and that's because I did not specify 3 in the second set to remove it. If I would have done this, it would have gotten rid of the 3s. So that's another way that you could use the squeeze and how it works when you specify multiple sets and in conjunction with other flags. Now, there's the final flag I want to talk about is the complement flag or the C flag, and that takes um, set one is the complement to the stream that's coming in. So any character that does not, that is in set one that is not in set in the initial stream um, is what gets worked on or operated on or translated. For instance, if I did echo one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E, and I pass that to translate a complement, and I do my digits class, that's going to work on the complement of the digits class to set one. So that would be all non-digits in, in the original stream. So when I hit enter, actually I'm going to pass the D flag in there. It makes more sense. When I hit enter in this case, because it's working on the complement, it's going to get rid of all non-digits. See that? Uh, it's taking the complement of the set so everything that's not a digit if I would specify alpha it would take the complement of the alpha so all non alphabet characters in the stream and it would get rid of the numbers in this case so that's kinda TR in a nutshell one example I will leave you with is a very handy one that I've used quite frequently and that is manipulating text files to get rid of DOS line breaks if you're using Unix. Now, I don't have many text files on me that have DOS line breaks in there, so I'm going to do the opposite of what I normally would do and use the TR command to create a file with DOS line breaks in it. Now, notice what I'm doing here is I'm passing some special characters in there. The first one is the the, the DOS style line break, the slash R, and the second one is the um, would be the uh, Unix style line break, but I don't want to do that. Let's let's rotate that around because I already have Unix style line breaks. So I'm going to specify R, and to my input of this, I'm going to do that Atlas shrugged notes review, and then I'm going to do at output to Atlas ruined dot text. And when I hit enter, it's going to uh, it's done that. So if I did vi Atlas ruined, I would see that now. What was originally there, Atlas Shrug Review, what was originally a nice formatted file has now become a jumbled mess of a single one line because of the DOS characters. So let's, let's back out of this that I did right there. All right, now I have a DOS file. Doesn't work for me. It's all messed up. What I want to do is the opposite of just what I did. Translate R to N and pass in Atlas Ruined. And I'm going to pipe that to less just as an example. So now it's back to the way it originally was. In some cases you might have to pass the dash R slash N I've seen done like that. It does the same thing. So that's one way to get rid of DOS line breaks. Very handy for the TR command. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, went fast on this. It's just examples. I strongly encourage you to head over to the website to read the full write-up on this. Listen to the audio portion on Hacker Public Radio. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in two weeks.